Okay. So I'm going to do a little series, and I just did one about um, stopping a horse from going in a direction you don't want them to go using an analogy of something valuable, something fragile, something that will shatter if it hits the floor rolling off of a table. How would you get out there and stop it? And how your horse properly responds to that kind of uh, correction or redirection. So another one is if the horse is going forward and you don't want him to go forward. I came up with another analogy there. And I tried to, to use one, but not everybody's ever been punked, meaning not everybody's been picked on by somebody and then, you know, had somebody pretend like they're going to come in and hit, hit them. But it is something we've all seen in the movies. But I'm going to use a different analogy anyway. So what I mean, like, is, like, say somebody is, like, trying to intimidate this person right here, you know, and they're getting ready to walk away, and then they go, you know, that one last, like, you know, watch yourself kind of thing, right? So we've all seen that in the movies, but not everybody knows what adrenaline that brings up in us and how it would be effective if you're the one being, you know, punked like that, you'd be like, right? That will stop. If you were getting ready to like walk away, that would stop you in your tracks. It's the same thing. Um, so I came up with a different one. How about a snake strike, right? You want to be like, it's a, you know, like you're juking. Um, so when a horse, like I'm working with a horse that's in front of me and, and I don't want him to come forward, I'm looking for a sideways movement or I'm looking for him to go off and he starts to come forward. I might be like, no, go that way. Um, I'm trying to turn down the volume of the wiggling on the rope. I find that it is supposed to be something that communicates don't go forward. But unfortunately, when there's no body language too, and it's just the rope, I'm finding a lot of horses that um, I'm working with the owners with are lacking the communication with the body and the rope is doing everything. And I think, you know, the horses are spending a little bit more time with their head up in the air trying to avoid, you know, the energy of the rope. And that's not what I'm looking for. I'm looking for your body to say, don't, don't come forward. The rope, you can just do that and say, now do you feel that? That means back up. Like if your horse is good at the backup. So if your backup's broken, Usually the don't go forward is very broken. Um, so if you ever find that your backup's broken, you have to stop. You have to, when you hit a broken part, the whole thing can't work until the broken part's fixed. So you have to keep stopping and fixing broken parts in any level of training of anything. You should always think that way. Um, so let's just say, you know, this, your intention you know, is, and I wish I could come up with a better, um, I always say it's kind of like if your brother or sister come in your room when, when you're in a bad mood or whatever, and you're like, get out of my room, right? You know, like you, you kind of like say that at the door. Um, and then it's never worked. I've never been able to get anybody to understand that energetically. Uh, so I'm always, every time I work with a new student, every time I work a new lesson, every time I'm always trying to learn how to be a better teacher to the people, uh, and learning how to show people what your body says, and then trying to create analogies that invoke in you the adrenaline rush or the sensation that you would get through the analogy, as if you were like a, a, the receiver of that energy. So you know what you're trying to produce. Um, I can't think of a, a better, the snake bite is the best one, like the snake strike, not even a snake bite, a snake strike. We've all seen, even in the movies, I guess, where you'll see a snake and it'll be like, right? That's the kind of energy. Now, if you can you put yourself in the place of the person that the snake just struck at? You know, you, you could be like, right? You would, you would, that would be a jump back, no more forward, even lean kind of reaction. 
So I try to put people, I try to create analogies that allow people to be the receiver of the energy so they know what kind of energy to produce. Um, The snake strike is, is, or, you know, like I said, like somebody trying to intimidate another person. You usually see it like in the schoolyards and whatnot where, you know, a, a group of kids are picking on this one kid right here and they're getting ready to walk away and the kid thinks he's getting, you know, and he starts to step off and the guy goes, you know, like, or like, you know, pretending to punch him. So it's, it's that, but not everybody's had that experience and not everybody knows how to create that energy in themselves to, to be the receiver of that. Um, I'm always evolving. I'll come up with something someday that makes sense. I have a hard time with that one, uh, because I really feel like I, I'm, I'm creating more rope wigglers than I am energy projectors. And I really want to try to find a way to change that. So that's, uh, I guess the don't go forward, my, my current analogy for don't go forward when I don't want forward motion. All right, I'm going to do a bunch of little ones so that they can just kind of become like a series. <laughs>